Hello equestrians, welcome back to my channel. We're doing another video now. Um, I've actually filmed three today, which is crazy. We've got Nick warming up in the background and we're gonna do a Christmas tree pole work exercise. So I'll just take you on over to our Christmas tree so you can see. Oh, this is gonna be so much easier when my vlogging camera arrives. Holding this up is hard work. But yeah, so. Here it is. It's got a very long stem, this Christmas tree. Nick's rocking the matchy matchy. I wouldn't think pink would go on a chestnut, but there you go. The first time for everything. So I'll show you. There's loads of different ways you can use this exercise. So going straight up the middle, it's a nice straight line to work on straightness. You can come up in trot, halt in the middle, trot off again. You can come round, go through this bit on the diagonal. You can go that way on the diagonal. You can do canter circles across the middle of it. You can do kind of trot poles across the stem. So yeah, lots of ways you can use this. And we'll see what Mrs. Lilith over there thinks about it in a minute. <laughs> Nick's just warming up, doing some uh, leg yielding. Try and get Lily using that back end. Oh, there's a pole. There's a pole in the way. There's lots of poles in the way. She's just trying to use that shoulder again. Yeah. Hey, pretty girl. It really suits that colour. Didn't expect it to work on a chestnut. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Why did I sound like Johnny Cash? <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. I think that's more appropriate for a chestnut mare. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right, come again. <laughs> Did you pinch my pink whip as well? I did. Rude. <laughs> Coming onto the tree. What is this? Good girl, Lils. <laughs> That's it. Halter in the middle of it. Good girl, Lils. What, what is this? And then ask her to walk on, go through the triangle. She's like, what on earth? Good girl, Lily. Keep, <laughs> keep coming to build her confidence with it. The lighting in here is horrendous. I do apologize. Far more confident into that and halt. Ooh. Quite a square halt there. Nice one. She's like, I'm not sure about the triangle at the bottom. That's very scary. Building up some confidence slowly, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, it's not scary anymore. When it becomes not scary, we go up a gear and make it scary again. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> I'm an awful friend. A little bit wobbly in there. Bring her onto a circle and do the top like triangle. 
it's a bit of a tight circle so you have to turn in see what I mean it's a bit of a small circle that's cheating I meant the small triangle <laughs> that's all right do you spiral in work on that spiraling in that we were doing yesterday but bring your smaller circle through that triangle if that makes sense <clears throat> working on the bend good girl Lils and then push her out onto the bigger circle again keeping the bend good girl Lils so this is a leg yield on a circle but we're including the poles pick your feet up we're including the poles in that exercise just to get some lift to get her to think about what she's doing with her legs bring her in again remember not to cross that hand over the inside hand good she looks like she's really interested and really thinking about everything and then pushing her out again getting her to step under with that inside hind leg that walk looks so much more relaxed than what it was yesterday back onto the bigger circle and then change the rein across this bit here yeah <laughs> and then do the same exercise but on the other rein so you can come across these poles if you want just walk across uh, she's like mm. did we knock them out the way now they're all right good girl lily So going on your big circle and then working to your little circle. It's amazing how quick they pick things up because yesterday Lily was really reluctant to bend, wasn't she? But it's a bit of you as well, like you're more aware of your body. Yeah. And then pushing her out. It's actually really making her step under, you can see it there. That was a good... This is very good for Nick to look back on, actually. To see the improvement from yesterday. Even just from yesterday. Good girl, Lils! Also shows how many exercises you can actually do through something like this. Pole work is so beneficial. And again, just don't let her get too, uh, like, pulling down with the reins if she pulls a bit just squeeze her on and ask her to bring her head up a little bit because that's evasion that's it keeping the bend it actually helps having a target I think sending her out oh, watch the bend don't let her pull her head down that's it just relax your heels down as well, Nick. There we go. Uh -uh. you got to be quite sharp on that. Yeah. You know, when you feel that she's going to do it, try and do it before she actually pulls you down. Up. Head up. Good. One more time. Same activity. And then we can pick up some trot if you like. She's like, oh, this is hard. Good girl. Keeping the bend. When you send her out, just remember that outside leg stays passive. Inside leg works. Don't let her over bend. Good girl, Lils. Don't pull back when she does it. Just kick, kick her on a bit to get her head up rather than pulling on her. She's finding it hard, that's all. So send her on uh, large now. We'll get a trot going when you're ready. 
just relax your hands and let just swing with a walk. She might actually want a bit of a stretch. It looks like she does, so. Good girl! That's a really good stretch out of her. Good. Sit for two. And just work on your leg yielding again, just to get her stepping under in the trot as well, before you come onto your uh, Christmas tree. Good. Just watch that shoulder again. Good, that was better. Change the rain, do the same on the other rain. You can come through your Christmas tree if you want to. Wherever. Get her using them legs, thinking about where she's putting her feet. <laughs> Keeping you on your toes. Leg yielding again, down this long side. Good girl, Lils. And once more, and then bring her up the centre line. And I want you to halt or walk through the middle and then ask for trot again. Lots of transitions to get her sitting behind. So slow the trot down as you get to the center to ask for a walk and then a sharp transition back to trot. And that's all right. Walk or trot or, or uh, halt is good. Good girl. It's just nice to do them transitions with them. Gives her something to think about. I was going to say, you need to look for your turn a bit earlier there. Good. Well done for coming again. Ah, Lily's like, no, I've had enough. That's it, looking at your turn earlier. Slowing your rising down and walk and trot again. <laughs> So that I'm meant to jump it, I don't understand. Just relax your hands in the trot as well. Let her come down and round, good. Come and do a 20 meter circle over your Christmas tree. <laughs> That's all right, don't be sorry. So go all the way around the school and then at this end of the school do your 20 meter circle but include the middle of the Christmas tree. Yeah? Nice trot Lils. Good girl. Just watch for your hands moving up and down quite a bit. Just try and keep them nice and still, nice and relaxed. Super. Keeping that bend. Good. Try again, keeping the bend. Inside leg, don't cross that inside hand over. Plan your turns earlier, yeah? Because it'll give you that, it'll help with your coordination. Good girl. Once again. Just relax your hands forward a little bit. Good. <laughs> we lost the bend, but it's good that she's picking her feet up. Good girl. Inside leg. Outside leg remains slightly passive. Good. Good girl. Changing the rain, do it the other way.
Good girl, Lils. That's lovely. See how she is starting to soften? Yeah. You just got to watch that you don't pull back. Let your hands relax forward so she can relax forward. So going right to the top of the school. Good girl, Lily. What? Planning your turn early. Think about that inside bend. Good. Good girl, Lily. Good. She does bend better this way. You can see she finds it easier. But that's good. Come again. That trot looks much improved from before. Does it feel better? Good. You've given her a purpose. Good girl, Lils. Do you want to work on your spiral in the trot again? Including the Christmas tree. So the same as you did in the walk. But you're just doing it in trot this time. So if you've got a horse like me and Nick have that needs stimulation all the time and you find it hard to think of what exercises to do this is great like any kind of pole work exercises like this good slow the rising down a little bit to help her out good well done that's it that's fine bringing her back onto the big circle she held that really well you've just got to hold her a little bit with the outside leg so she doesn't fall out yeah Good girl. So coming in again, slow things down a little bit to give her half a chance because she has to really think about what she's doing with her legs here. Bit of outside leg to support her. Better and sending her out. Well done. Good. This looks really good, Nick. Sit back, sit nice and tall. That's it. You going on the other rein? That's it. So remember to slow it down a little bit when you come onto your smaller circle. Outside leg supports her. Good. And sending her out onto the big circle. Keeping that bend. Super. Super. Lovely. <laughs> she really thinks about the poles every time. Send her out onto the large circle properly before you come in again. So you want that nice big 20 meter circle. Keeping that bend, don't let her over bend. Good girl, Lils, don't cross that inside rein over, Missy. Inside leg. Bringing her onto the smaller circle, good. Good, well done, and sending her out again. Do you feel like you're having a workout? <laughs> Do you want a breather? Oh wow, look at that trot. Keep that trot, it's lovely. Keep sitting up tall though. Try not to let her uh, bring you out of the saddle. Good. You stay balanced to help her stay balanced and just relax your hands for her. Super. Well done, Nick. Give her a little rest and a, a long rain because that was so nice. That's all right, do the big circle first. That's it. Good girl, Lily. <laughs> Slowing the rising down a little bit there. Good. Keeping the trot. Super. And again, pushing the trot out. I would come through the center like once more and then ask for the canter. So getting a bend in. Push her out into the corner. Sit outside leg back canter. Good. Looking at your circle now. Plan your circle. Good. Woohoo! Well done. Really well ridden. And bring her back to trot. That's it. Trot forward. Coming back over the circle. <laughs> She's enjoying that. Good. Come on the other rein. 
stay sitting up nice and tall. Good. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in here is absolutely shocking, but. So same again with that 20 meter circle down to what is probably a five or 10 meter circle. Working on the bend. You want to work on the quality of the trot before asking for the canter so that she's not anticipating the canter. While you're in trot, you're working in a nice trot, Lily. When you're ready for canter, that's when she canters. Not when she's ready to. Good. Bringing her on to that smaller circle. Oh. Just bring her back to trot. Remember to use your, t your stomach muscles to bring her back into trot. Don't get too harsh with the hands. Do your small circle, working out onto the bigger circle, and then ask for the canter. Good. That's it. Plan in your canter circle. Good. Well ridden. Don't let it get too strong. Use your stomach if she's getting too quick. Super. Relax your hands forward. That's it. <laughs> well done, Lils. Well ridden there. Keep that trot going round now. <laughs> but it helps having the poles there because she can't like run away with you kind of thing she gets herself caught lovely trot there <clears throat> good can't see her because of the sun's in the background <laughs> aww Okay guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this um, activity. I hope it gives you some ideas, um, some festive ideas of what you can do with your horse or pony this uh, Christmas. Um, this has been a very beneficial exercise for Lily, as you can see. And um, yeah, I hope you guys do try it out. Uh, it's not my idea, I've seen it all over the internet, but uh, obviously with me being pregnant and not riding, I wasn't able to try it out, so Nick has tried it out today. You've enjoyed it, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Gets the thumbs up from Nick and Lily. I think Nick enjoyed. Uh, I think Lily enjoyed herself as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please do hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do leave a big thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.